Hey there, my inauspicious crew. This is Bleaker, and welcome to a preview of Things to Come in Factorio, as played by an engineer, Season 2. Um, so I have been just incredibly busy with, um, sorry, new headphones. I'm trying to get used to the fact that my voice is a little muted, because these things block out, like, most of my voice. But, um, yes, I have been incredibly busy uh, conceiving and planning and just practicing my... Um, automation skills here with um, with Factorio, and I must say I'm feeling very, very confident in 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 this game in general now. That I feel as though I can properly teach people how to play this. I mean, check this out. Check this out. Let me just um, dump this. So I have a few mods installed that'll help like manage um, just like notebooks and arrays and stuff. So check this out. I'm going to load this blueprint in here. And I'm gonna have my robots here. Yes, I am up to robots. Just get to work. It it takes a little bit for them to get going, but they'll get there. Oh, here they come. And oh, hang on. Yeah, th there's a really stupid path in here. Hang on, let me. There. Now they shouldn't path quite so stupidly. I am pretty much almost completely off-grid in terms of power. But the only downside is I now have this absolutely massive solar array, which you really can't see because pollution's still high. I, I don't know why pollution's so high. I'm really trying to decipher it, but for the life of me, I can't think... I can't come up with a reason why the pollution's so high. I'm pretty much... I could probably shut off steam engines. I'm, I'm still working out bugs with this game. But yep, watch my solar power should just kick in completely here. Yeah. But um, overall, I feel very, very confident in my ability to um, really teach you guys and really give this a decent demo through. I really don't like this setup entirely, but I'll work on it later. But, um, yeah, I made entirely electric furnaces. Um, I'm doing just massive gear production now, and I'm actually able to keep up, which is most impressive, in my opinion. I've got... I've got everything tied into a logistics network, so I can get things pretty much on demand here. I can request whatever I want. I can trash whatever I want. Nope, nope that wasn't for me. Um, I am up to blue science, and even uh, purple science is actually being produced over here. And I'm backed up on all my science packs too, so that's really good. I have full-blown gear production. Um, full-blown blue super fast belts. Fast inserters. Just everything. Um, electric engines, full battery production. Which, maybe I'll add in some more later. I'm not really sure. A lot of logistics robots. Um, solar. What is these substations? Because I do need those for my solar arrays. Uh, Roboports. I'm even producing uh, these really awesome... <laughs> Um, level level three uh, assembly machines, and I even have um, speed modules being made. Oh, cool! Another thing got done. Let's research that. You know, while we're here, I might as well. And I want this to be a passive provider. Let's do about that many, and then I'm going to request about. 50, I'd say, of these speed modules. I want to have 50 on me at all times. Look at that. So I, I legitimately feel like I can properly give, really give this a very, very good explanation as to how this all works. So I have been working very, very hard. Like This is the product of at least 20, it may not sound a lot, but 24 hours at the very least I have sunk into this map. I wonder if it'll tell me on my save files. 
load the game here. Test world, 28 hours total. A lot of that is actually waiting for fat, uh, resources to back up. But I have worked very, very hard at this game, and I... Why are those over there? There we go. That too. That should be shouldn't be over there. Yes, and I am very, very confident in my ability to uh, walk you guys through everything that I have done so far. I'm actually very, very proud of what this factory became. I've got a few other mods installed. Um, stuff that just makes oil easier, which is always really nice because oil has been an absolute has been an absolute pain in the butt to get um, working. Um, so I've got some mods there to help um, with oil refineries. Um, I also have some mods that'll convert. Oops, what am I doing here? That'll actually convert coal into oil. And then because um, my factory was just consuming so much, and I had gotten to like the 22-hour mark and was having a lot of uh, resource problems, I actually installed a mod that gave me basically un unlimited resources, so I didn't have to make a new mine every 20 minutes. This is, um, I would consider that strictly a quality of life mod just because of how much resources I consume at any one point. Like the amount of oil I'm consuming is absolutely ridiculous just to feed this factory. But um, that's more for like end game just so I can keep up. But I truly believe that I can give you guys a pretty decent idea of uh, how to actually set up this just huge, absolutely massive factory. Um, Again, this is my, only my test world, so if you guys have mods that you want me to look into... Yeah, it should be fine. If you, guys, if you guys have mods that you want me to look into, I will happily give them a go. I'll put them in here in the test world and I'll try them out. Maybe not Bob's mods, because that's like a complete rework of ore, but um, any other mods that you might have, I'll really give them a good look at and a really good attempt at uh, trying them out here. I mean, look at this. Just look at all this circuit production. I think the next thing that I have to do here before I'll consider this world done is processing units. That's going to require a lot. Processing units. Actually, no, it's not processing units. It's... I thought that there was something beyond processing units. No, processing units is like the last thing I really have to do for even achievement-wise. I've Production, bonuses, map, trains, achievements. Up, I still got to do um, locomotives. That's next on the list. I got to do that one. Oh, I still got to manually construct more. Delivery service. Get killed by a locomotive. I'm not doing that one. Cool, I really can't survive that. While well, on my way to producing a million circuits. Processing units is the next big one. My god. Ah, oh, 4,000 iron plates an hour. I don't think I'll ever hit that, but I'm getting really close. I haven't done that yet. Um, <laughs> I could probably do that one. So long and thanks for all the fish. That must be like getting off of this map. But yeah, I am very, very happy with uh, this whole this whole playthrough. And this factory is just huge. Um, I can probably figure out a way to make it downloadable for people who want, but you are going to need some mods, and I'll have a list of all those mods at some point when the time calls for it. I just have that only for if need be, I guess. We doing good on iron? No, we're really draining the iron. Even with like all my factories, iron production just seems, just keeping up with iron production has been a hell of a task. I, I still can't keep up with it. I'm, I'm actually thinking about taking out my whole smelting area that I've set up and just making a brand new one um, way at a distance away from my factory and then really transporting a whole bunch of stuff. It's taken up a lot of my... Oh, probably. This is probably taking up a whole bunch. Yeah, all my uh, express belts. That's probably what's been taking up a lot of my iron. We should start catching up now. Yeah, we should start filling back on that. Yeah, Express Belts was taken a lot because I just uh, unleashed the horde there. But yeah, um, I'm looking at about an 
August release date on Factorio as done by an engineer here. I've still got a lot more testing of stuff to do, like uh, railroads. I really haven't given that too much of an attempt yet. Um, but yeah, if there are any mods that you want to see in my future playthrough, um, we'll go ahead and do that. Another thing, I have a patron now. I don't know why I have a patron, but I do have one. It was just more I needed... I was donating to a couple guys. So I made one anyways for the off chance that I ever anybody ever wants to give me money <laughs> I mean I don't do any of this I don't do it I don't make any money off of this I never have probably never will at this rate oh, I can but yeah um that is that's just a quick update on where I am where I am about with this series um, if you guys have any questions or want to see what am I doing here there we go or if you want to see anything specific, just let me know. I can probably do a quick one-off if you guys want to see any demos on anything specific. But um, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for right now. Um, like I said, the next time you'll probably hear anything about this series is if um, anybody has any questions, or if, or if anybody has any questions, or if when I when I pick back up um, the Factorio as done by an engineer with my other world, not this one. But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today, guys. Um, until next time, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.